Well, riders, this is it. My first ride in impressions with the Zero SRF Premium. And I think I finally found what I've been looking for in an electric motorcycle. Stay tuned to find out why. Zero Motorcycles has been around since 2006. They released their first electric motorcycle a few years later. In 2012, they released the first electric motorcycles to exceed 100 miles on a single charge. Fast forward to 2021, and we now have the Zero SRF Premium, a 110 horsepower electric motorcycle with 140 pounds of torque that placed fifth at the 2019 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb with some racing additions, of course. This naked street bike has a stunning design that may look familiar to Ducati owners and has the performance to match. A slight twist of the throttle and you're off to the races with the instant torque. To put it in perspective, the Zero SRF has 35% more torque than its closest gas-powered motorcycle cousin. The Zero SRF comes with four ride-in modes, Eco, Rain, street and sport and if those aren't enough you have the option through the mobile app to create a custom mode where you choose how the motorcycle responds as a new rider i chose to start off conservatively in eco mode i found the acceleration to be more than sufficient but the regeneration when the throttle is released is startling and can put you forward over the motorcycle if you're not prepared once you learn the quirks of this motorcycle you may hardly use the front or rear brake depending on your regen settings. The Eco Mode also limits your top speed to 75 miles per hour, but for most riding, you won't need to go any faster. And if you do, there's three other modes to help you with that. I was concerned during my first ride with the Zero SRF. I heard noises I've never heard before on a gas bike. The sound of shocks reacting to cracks and holes in the pavement, the sound of a light rub from the brakes on the rotors, and an electric whine that would have been a lot cooler if it sounded like the light cycles from the Tron movie. When you ride gas bikes, you don't hear much above the sound of your engine and exhaust. Speaking of sound, did I mention that the first time I turned the key, I thought the motorcycle wasn't even on? Definitely a reminder to read the owner's manual before you jump on one of these electric motorcycles. America's behind when it comes to electric vehicle charge and infrastructure, but for most riders who are looking for an electric motorcycle for short commutes, then you'll be fine charging the Zero SRF with a standard level 2 charger. The Zero SRF has a J1772 connection and comes with a charging cable that will plug into a 110 volt outlet. The Zero SRF standard has a 3 kilowatt charging system that will take about 4 hours to charge to 95% of your battery's capacity. The Zero SRF Premium reduces that time in half with a 6 kilowatt charging system. You can boost your charging time further by purchasing an additional 6 kilowatt add on and drop the charge time. If you suffer from range anxiety, you can also purchase a power tank add-on that will add another 3.6 kilowatt of battery to the motorcycle. Before you go out and purchase additional add-ons to decrease the charging time, it's important to know that if you will do most of your charging at home, your power outlet at home is probably only capable of charging at 3 kilowatts per hour max. When it comes to charging, this is another area to read the owner's manual. Zero Motorcycles has established several guidelines for proper charging and the mobile app allows you to customize how and when your Zero SRF charges. The Zero SRF Premium comes with some nice features like ABS, stability control, traction control, cruise control, heated grips, and a configurable 5 inch TFT display. I love all these features and we'll dig into them more in future videos. So far, I only have a few complaints about the Zero SRF. First, the turn signal switch is too close to the mode button. I find myself hitting the mode button instead of the turn signals. Second, the auto canceling feature of the turn signals takes a while before it turns off the turn signal. Third, the ride in position on the motorcycle could be improved with a different placement of the foot pegs, different handlebar position, and not having such a large storage area at the top of the bike. 
Zero has released a foot peg lowering kit to help address complaints from riders though. And if you really have difficulty with the ride in position, the Zero SRS is supposed to be more comfortable. And finally, the mobile app can be glitchy at times. These are my thoughts after spending a few hours with the motorcycle. It's a premium motorcycle at a premium price, $21,495 US dollars starting MSRP to be exact. But so far, I'm pleased with my purchase and looking forward to seeing what I can do on this Zero SRF electric motorcycle. But if you subscribe to the philosophy that loud pipes save lives, then this motorcycle isn't for you. But if you enjoy the feel of the wind and the sound of the road beneath you and the world around you, then this Zero SRF electric motorcycle is for you. And if you subscribe to this channel, then you'll learn more about the Zero SRF electric motorcycle in future videos.